Apocalypse. Hey there, Tinkercad friends. I've got a fun new project for you I'd like you to do. This is actually the shadow art project I did my go well with a couple days, but I'm going to show you how I did it. I'll bring out a cube and make all of its corners 10 and 10 and 10 because that's easy to work with with our grid. Click on the awesome fit view to selection and that way you can easily line it up with the grid and then pick a color that you think is fun. I'm going to play with blue today and then simply make a couple of letters. I'm going to make an H and I'm going to make an I. I'm going to move five millimeters at a time by setting the grid that way. And when I do control D, two clicks moves it up and it memorizes what I did. So I can immediately uh, make my sweet little H. I'm going for the middle of the H now. I'm going to hide my little shape picture so I've got more room. I'm going to go control D on that one, move it up to the right spot and control D again. And then this one, I'm going to move up and do control D and pull the next one down. And then it memorizes the movements. So it's so easy to make the letters HI. Got to do my control D. I'm going to move over and I'm going to make my eye look like this. As you can see, super, super simple. If I were making a fancier letter, I'm going to delete that extra one. I could have used the wedge, which I've showed you in other lessons. Uh, if you do fit view to selection for that wedge, switch to the combination top front view, you can rotate it 90 degrees so that it, you're able to make custom letters like E's and anything else like an S. Uh, just make them all equal 10 as well. And it snaps in place for you to turn corners and make fancy shapes. But we don't need that now. I'm just showing you how to do it. I'm going to hit delete. And then here's where this project gets real fun. I'm going to start by just selecting it all and lifting it up in the air some amount. It doesn't matter what. And there's where the magic shadows equal uh, make it say hi, which I think is so cool to have that shadow art. Now the trick is to turn on your work plane and click on the front edge of any of these pieces. And then you can simply click on each piece. So I've got to select off it and you can use the arrow keys to bump them up into the air different amounts so that it looks like a totally bizarre pattern. But really when you look at it because of the shadows, those all still say the same. So it's just a fun way to make a cool artistic project that later when you um, look at it from the side, people can't tell what it is. But when you show them the right angle, they can see that it really says hi. I'm going to press W to shut it off. And once again, there's what it looks like as a mess. Pretty wicked cool. And then you can turn and look from above and it looks like HI. And if you switch totally to the top view, hold down shift, right click, drag you can get right over top and actually get your view so that it looks like the word high as well, which is pretty wicked cool. Thanks for following along. Have fun and keep tinkering. Click on Zombie Apocalypse.